Brilliant. Thank you. Right. Arthur, do you want to shift to the front? I can hear the school bus. It was late anyway. We could have got it. Arthur. Arthur! Yeah? Is someone being horrible to you? What? No. Oh. Mm. Right, say goodbye to Jay, guys. Bye, Bye Jay! Jay. Bye, love. Bye! Hey, mate, uh, you're not still mad with me about yesterday, are you? Oh, you do believe me, don't you? You know, I would never want you to pretend or to, you know, hide who you really are. Yeah, of course. It's all good. No, I'm sorry. No, it's just ridiculous. What are they scared of? Courtesy to who? Well, not to my son. Or to his guest speaker. It's just insulting. Oh, no, 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 no. Not everybody's opinion is valid. I mean, if you add up every kid in the school who has an interest in this, you're looking at, I don't know, half a year feeling insulted and conf... <sighs> well, OK, well, thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Bye. Ridiculous. School? Yeah, calling from the last century. So, the assembly goes ahead, but only when the parents have a chance to withdraw their kids. What? I'm shocked. I'm not. Well, I know what people are like. Some of them parents will be right bigots. They'll get the wrong end of the stick, and the next minute they'll be out picketing the school. I'm just saying it's not easy for the head teacher either. Public are monsters. Thought me clicking. It's still a slap in the face. How am I gonna tell Arthur? Right. Hi, coffee. Hi. Oh, perfect, thanks. The agenda. Mm. Excuse me, have you got a sec? Um, I just wondered if you could help me with a school complaint. Hot on the academy? As councillor or governor? Oh, you're governor. Oh, that's lucky. Um, well, I'm assuming you don't know, but there was an assembly and they were interviewing an older gay guy. Yeah, it was, uh, it was postponed. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, a number of parents had concerns. As it happens, it was me who passed them on to the school. Oh, poor you having to deal with that. I mean, how many were there? Complaints. I was told there was just one. I'm not at liberty to... Oh, no, 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 I was just wondering, you know, approximately, what are we dealing with? <laughs> Look, I understand you're frustrated, but... Other parents have a right to their own values as well. No. Parents have different yes, values. No, I understand. No, I understand what you're saying. Uh, okay. Can we just agree to disagree? No, Nicola. I just don't understand. What values do these parents possibly have that makes them object to a simple assembly? Well, some are churchgoers. I'm a churchgoer. Laurel's late husband was a local vicar, actually. Yes, and our son, his son, happens to be gay. And you have your approach to that. <laughs> My approach. Oh, listen. I'm just relaying the fact that there are other parents who don't like the idea of their children being told things that they feel aren't appropriate. That gay people exist? Well, we're talking about bigots, aren't we? I'm mean, sorry, there's no other word for it. Do you know what I find offensive? What I find really offensive is that they're using religion as a kind of smokescreen. And that is your right to disagree and be offended. Are we done now? No. Not by a long way. She's right. Dad wouldn't have invited the assembly. Your dad was nothing but bursting with pride for you. If he knew what you'd been through, he'd be so angry and upset. Parents trying to hide their bigotry behind religion. That's what's going on here, Arthur. Why are you getting so upset? I'm not. Well, I am. But unbelievable. Well, I'm sorry, but I've been really worried about you. Sometimes I'm so ashamed of grown-ups. That's not your problem, is it? I've already had to make up to Jay. This isn't all about you. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, perfect. Sorry, did I not make myself clear? Fine. Hang on. Mm, what are you doing? I thought you'd be the last person I'm to see. Oh, you're wrong. Look, Marshall, wait. I haven't said anything about yesterday, just in case you're worried. To your mum? To anyone. Yeah, I got caught up in the moment. That's not me. It looked like you. You know what I mean. 
Nothing happened, and I'm not gay. Right. Well, one thing, though, just because this all kind of turned into a big deal for me, it doesn't mean ask me for everyone. You know, it's never all black and white, anyway. They reckon everyone's a bit bi. And I'm not bi, either. Can we forget it? Do you want to ride the trail? What trail? Motorbike trail. My bike's at home. It's no problem. Get one from here. All right. All right. Give me two seconds. Hiya. I'll let him win. <laughs> Can you come back for tea? Yeah. Marshall, you are most welcome. Thanks, Mrs. Thomas, but my dad's coming to collect me. I said I'd meet him out in the road. Oh, well, just get him to bring the car round here. Marshall? Is that your dad? The car's around the corner. Bye, Mrs. Thomas. Let's go. See you. Ah, right, Matty said he's got everything under control, so well, let's go while we can, eh? Go inside. What? Is everything okay? Hey. Councillor, you couldn't have made it more obvious. I don't know what you're talking about. Some parents. It's you, isn't it? You're the bigot. Why don't you just have the courage to own it? Oh, and, um, don't ever, ever look at my son like that again. <laughs>